All right, the Pittsburgh Steelers have been blown away by an underrated rookie. If you're new to the channel, we're Detroit Lions fans, but we have this channel dedicated to teams and stories that just don't get the love like they should. And so this guy, this player doesn't get the love like you should, and that's Roman Wilson, your wide receiver that is he's so underrated because he doesn't have the size. Um, he doesn't have, honestly, the production just because he played at Michigan and he had really good production, but he still, because Michigan was so run heavy because they, you look back at their scores. I mean, I was looking at it cause we're Michigan fans knew it was a dominant season last year. Roman Wilson was still the most productive wide receiver on the Michigan team came up with huge catches and big games, but you look at like a, a large chunk of the season. I mean, Michigan beats. Michigan State 49 to nothing they beat I mean there was about four or five games where it was 45 to 3 36 to 6 I mean crazy stuff we're in the fourth quarter you're simply running it I mean against Penn State Michigan ran the ball 30 sec 30 consecutive times or something crazy right so my point is even Roman Wilson who's really good just didn't get a lot of looks Michigan was dominating so Let's take a look at what was being said about him. And this is, again, this is going into the off or into training camp where it's going to be really important that he plays well and does his thing. So Roman Wilson's explosiveness impresses. The thing about him is he is, he's going to be, this dude's good. Okay. So it's really weird because he's, he is fast, 439 speed at the combine awesome but his instant acceleration is even more impressive so the explosiveness he has off the line of scrimmage is incredible there were veterans in the Steelers rookie camp who did not have the same level of burst that he does two guys I think jump out to me are Roman Wilson of the Steelers and Jermaine Burton of the Cincinnati Bengals said Sims on the unbuttoned podcast so there's analysts noticing it coaches have talked about it your general managers Omar Omar Khan has has talked about it. This dude is is really good. So Wilson played both inside and outside at Michigan, spending 91% of his time in the slot as a junior and 65% of his time in the slot last season. So he did. He played a lot of slot. He played outside. He was in motion a lot, played in a pro-style offense. So Michigan, what they would do is kind of this power run, just kill you. At late in the game type of offense but they also played a pro style offense quite a bit too so it, it's it's really crazy how the Steelers walk away with a guy that is super impressive when they got him very productive because here's the thing about Roman Wilson bottom line watched every single game of Roman Wilson he's he gets open all right so he gets open it gets separation so when the you look at guys like quentin johnston of the chargers big bodied guy really excited about him he can't get open so it's crazy in today's nfl because of all of the motions all the things that you can do we'll get back to this in just a second all the things that you can do you can create matchups jet motions you you have to be able to get open and how do you get open well i think if you had to boil it down it's right down to that explosiveness that ability to move quick feet that's what we're talking about and that's what roman wilson has that's really hard to find amon ross st brown has it right amon ross st brown is not not big he's not fast he didn't have crazy production in college gets to the nfl level dominating because he gets open and roman wilson's going to be that same guy you know he's different than like a puka nakua who's more of a physical guy that he can run after the catch and he can do a lot of physical things. That's great. But he even he can get open and they scheme him open. You can scheme Roman Wilson open and he gets open on him by himself, which is crazy. So here he is right here, just like drill wise. It's like, bang. You can see what the. And he's got incredible hands, like which. Like, duh, should have mentioned that incredible hands he never dropped balls you can look at the the game against alabama where he was just like insane had a couple of the biggest catches ever look at this guy Steelers. what a steal for the Steelers. and then there was one more video right down here where 
yeah, like his hands were incredible. This was a touchdown catch against Nebraska. He catches it on the guy's back. I mean, he had all kinds of stuff that was really good. You can see his his hands are solid. He catches it away from his body. Man, love this guy. And by the way, if the Steelers land Brandon Ayuk, they'd have George Pickens, Ayuk, and Roman Wilson. I mean, Ayuk still still kind of dangling out there. Let me know in the comments if you would go for him or not. But <laughs> Brandon Ayuk. But uh, yeah, love love what the Steelers have done by picking up Roman Wilson and finding him. He's so underrated. He is going to be. I mean, I think he is the best. How do I say this? Um, because again, you got Malik Neighbors, you got Lad McConkey, you've got receivers out there, no question. So I don't want to be like he's the best receiver in this year's draft. He's got the highest probability, in my opinion, to to be the most successful because he gets open. He gets open, catches the ball, run after catch. I mean, he can have five, six catches a game for 70 yards all day. Just all day. So let me know your thoughts in the comments, and we'll see all of you on the next one.